Greetings. I'd like to share some familiar words with you from 1 Corinthians, reading in the 13th chapter, verses 4 through 7. You've heard these before, but I hope you'll listen to them with uh, open ears to new understanding. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-serving or self-seeking. It is not easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Familiar words. Um, and it's important to realize that this particular passage that we know so well uh, comes to us uh, from a letter in which Paul is dealing with a congregation that is filled with strife and division. Uh, they can't seem to agree about it, pretty much anything, and the whole letter is designed to be able to deal with those divisions. And Paul argues brilliantly why there needs to be unity. But you get to chapter 13, uh, and the words just before chapter 13, rolling off the chapter 12, but let me tell you about a more perfect way. It's almost like Paul is admitting, you know, I've got a really good argument here, but maybe you need to look at it this way. Love one another love one another. And that's not always easy to do, but maybe one of the ways that we can learn about loving uh, one another, and particularly in these days where there seems to be, not seems, my goodness, there is so much division. Um, how can we follow the loving ways of Jesus? Um, I'd like to offer this as a possibility. Uh, substitute the word Christian for love and see how that impacts your own sense of being a follower of Christ. And so I'll read these familiar words again, but with a little bit different perspective. A Christian is patient. A Christian is kind. A Christian does not envy, nor boast, nor is proud. A Christian does not dishonor others. A Christian is not self-seeking. A Christian keeps no record of wrongs. A Christian does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. A Christian always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. A Christian never fails. Okay, that holds up until the very end, because we fail a lot. We're sinful people, and particularly as Calvinists, we're very aware that we fail. But even our failures can become successes. If we remember the part about love keeps no record of wrongs, we are forgiving people, and we move forward together. And so as we live into the, this reality of how our country is divided, uh, very often families are divided, how can we be the type of loving Christians that reflect the love of Christ in the way that we conduct ourselves uh, in our attitudes, in our actions, uh, in our attributes as we reach out to others? Um, I'll be coming back to this every once in a while but for now, um, think about how we can be unifying people and caring people, starting first in love. There's a lot of good arguments for not being divisive, but maybe if we start with love, we'll be on the right track. Let's hope so. Thanks for your time.